Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Diatone 6 inch light edition. So they've gotten inspired obviously by the Hyperlite Floss and a lot of frames are heading that way now. So people want lighter and they just want lighter to go faster. So let's take a look at this. Now this thing is in a pretty good price. It's around $30 which is pretty amazing for a Diatone product. And what's so cool about it is they give you so many extra components, so many extra things that just in case you m lose something, you also have an extra of everything. And I mean an extra of everything. Two battery straps, an extra standoff, another set for your camera uh, plates here. So these are to hold your camera. They even give you the screws for your camera. They give you two sets here. Or five screws? No, yeah, two sets. It's just insane the amount of things they put. They give you your standoff uh what is it long nylon standoffs here so you can put them in the bottom so they give you a bunch of things which is very awesome and i really like to see this now let's take a look at this guy so this is the six inch virgin the true x now i got two i got the seven inch true x and the six inch true x and this is the six it has noticeably less flex now i can see the body is what's flexing here right now as i'm i'm just bending it so i can see the body flexing but it's it's a lot more rigid than the seven inch that's for sure so the five inch will be even less rigid, oh, more rigid sorry uh than the uh six inch here uh but overall this one seems to be a better one than the seven inch i would say because it's just the amount of flex in it is uh, a lot less than the seven inch so that's a huge plus in that perspective and obviously each arm is held with two screws. One goes off into a blue nut and the other one goes off into the standoffs. So let's just take a look here. So the carbon is very nice. It's very well cut. It's very clean. It's chamfered down. And um, it's what's to be expected from Diatone here. And if we take a look back here, they also give you a anti-slip, uh, what is it? Anti-slip sticker or pad so your you know your battery doesn't go back and forth if you want to put it on the bottom you could set the battery up on top or on the bottom it's up to you whatever you want you can go ahead and do that and as you can tell here all of these screws are tapered in so this is pretty cool it kind of keeps everything flat and uh we could say aerodynamic a bit <laughs> in a way i guess so overall it's pretty cool it takes 20 by 20 flight controllers escs whatever you want and it also takes the 30 by 30 uh flight controls escs pdb it takes all that kind of crazy good stuff and these here i guess they're meant to be to you know to hold up your sma antenna up here so you can go ahead and do that so overall it's a very nice one it feels pretty light so let's actually get its weight here so let's do that now all right just gonna zero out the scale here. This one's gonna be pretty interesting. I think this is the first one I'm gonna build before I build the 67 grams. That's very nice. That is very nice. I really like that. 67 grams on a six inch. I just remembered it's a six inch. So this thing is gonna be pretty crazy, I would say. That's the word maybe. So I have no idea what motors to put on this. I have uh, low KV, I have high KV. But I might put some of those X foot, uh, 2207, 2500 KV. No, that's too much for a six inch. I don't know. I'm going to find some nice motor that has kind of lowish KV. Maybe around less than 2400 KV, I think, would suit this guy. I don't want to get too much uh, amp draw and I don't want to ruin my batteries here. But overall, I mean, it seems nice. It does have a little flex, like I mentioned. The bottom plate's pretty thick. I think it's around three millimeters. Let's get its bottom plate here. So the bottom plate is three millimeters, as you can tell right there. So sorry about that, but yeah, it's three millimeters. And the upper plate is uh, two millimeters. And the arms are 4.25 millimeters in thickness. And in width, we have 9.86 millimeters. We can say 9.9, .9, 10 millimeters, basically, you could say that. And the standoffs here, if you're curious, they are 4.8 millimeters. And the amount of space we have inside is 24.21 millimeters. So it's all set and done. And overall, it's pretty nice. I, I do like the Stretch uh, the True X better than the Stretch X. And this is the True X, even it might look like a Stretch X, but it is the True X. And um, yeah, but overall, hopefully it's gonna fly well. And that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support this mission to bring in newer equipment to test and newer components to test so we know what's good and what's bad. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.